that's right. Heidi finally did her live stream discussing her whole story involving pro Jared and Holly, and I sat through and watched the whole thing because that's how good I am to all of you. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community or pop culture and try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So if you didn't get the memo, uh, this has been something big that's been going on and involves cancel culture and relationships and all of that. But if you like the topic of cancel culture and you are somebody who is trying to end it, make sure you check out my brand new book, Canceled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture, where I share my own personal story. I talk about different stories as well, like what's going on with Pro Jared and Heidi and Holly, as well as like James Charles, Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star, a whole bunch of people. So my book's out now and it's available in both ebook and audiobook format, down in the description, down in the pinned comment below. All right, so yeah, before I jump into what her whole video was about, just know and always remember, like I want you to watch these situations and see what you can learn from them because there's absolutely no point in just passively watching these stories unfold without trying to see what we can learn. And there's a lot to learn about relationships and breakups and closure and all sorts of stuff, all right? So there's only a few topics that I wanna touch on from this two hour stream. But the first one is I want to give props to Heidi um, because like one of the first things she said, one of the very first things she said was that she was not going to contribute to the narrative that Jared is attracted to underage people, right? Like she has a bunch of opinions. Some people might agree, some people don't agree. Like I made a video about um, the comments that Ethan Klein made and everything like that. And like, you can agree, disagree, whatever it is, but I, I am glad that Heidi made it very clear that she doesn't believe Jared is attracted to younger people, all right? Like she talked about him possibly being sloppy with what he did and uh, you know, a little bit careless and everything. And that's all fine and dandy, but I'm glad that she like started her video like that. One of the reasons she said she did that was because if people were coming, you know, to her stream to see if she had some like insider information, you know, about some of the accusations, but like that's not, you know, what it was. But anyways, a bulk of this video, I want to talk about relationships. I want to talk about polyamorous relationships and all that. But this, this whole story right here is a primary example of why, in my opinion, most polyamorous relationships don't work. And notice, I put an emphasis on the word most, because I know there's some of you out there who have been in polyamorous relationships or open relationships and they've worked. That's cool, all right? But for most people, it ends terribly and that's what we're watching unfold, all right? Like the first thing is, the first thing is, and I've said this in other videos, all right? If you are trying to save a relationship by sleeping with other people, it might be time to pull the plug on that relationship, all right? Like, uh, I will say this, I am glad that they experimented with polyamory rather than having a child. There are many people who, in order to try to save their relationship, they bring another life into this world thinking that it's gonna fix them. So I'm glad that's not the route they took, all right? but. I think it's important to realize like, you know, hey, if you're growing apart, if you're attracted to other people or you're just not attracted to each other anymore, maybe it's time to call it quits. But something that Heidi talks a lot about in her video is uh, polyamory, the rules around polyamory. Um, and she mentions a few times that she wished she had things in writing and everything. Here's the thing when it comes to polyamorous relationships, all right? like. The, the idea is that the rules, the guidelines, the boundaries are very black and white, but when it comes to these issues, they're actually quite subjective. You know what I mean? Because they're all based on each other's feelings and how you're feeling, right? Because if you feel one way and they feel another way about who you're sleeping with, then those are based on emotions. It is not black and white. So you can write up all the contracts you want, but 
but there's going to be problems, all right? So in my opinion, I feel like rather than even experimenting with polyamory, like I think a safer bet is you know how everybody, like they have their list, right? If I ever meet this celebrity, I could sleep with them. You know what I mean? That Like that's almost a safer bet. You know what I mean? But like one of the other reasons why this doesn't tend to work is this, like, listen, I, I believe that if you're not hurting anybody, do whatever the hell you want. Like there are people who are monogamous, there are people who are polyamorous and all those things, right? Like if you don't wanna settle down and you just wanna go spread your love to the world, do your thing, boo. But I, I am really, really into just psychology and human behavior and everything like that. And I read a lot of books on it. So I just wanna to talk to you about biology real quick. Like one of the reasons that most, not all, but most polyamorous relationships don't work is because we catch feelings, all right? We are designed to catch feelings for people that we sleep with, all right? Like there are some people who are better at detaching than others, but you gotta realize that like, based on our biology, based on our evolution, like we are looking for mates to reproduce, to populate this planet, to keep our bloodline going, all right? So like this is one of the reasons why not only polyamory becomes an issue, but like if you want to know what I mean, have you ever tried the whole friends with benefits things or just like the whole like hookup buddies right? And then you or the other person, you catch some feelings, right? Because it's very difficult to have this kind of, you know, uh, uh, physical relationship without it being an emotional attachment as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if you can pull off the friends with benefits things or just having hookup buddies or whatever it is, that is cool. All right. But a lot of times one or both people start catching feelings and it ends up really bad. So going back to the whole, this, this isn't so black and white and a lot of it's subjective, I'll say this. And you know, Heidi, like I, I think, I'll talk more about this in a minute, but I think she did well with this video. But the main thing is, is that, and I've discussed this before, I've discussed this about myself, I've discussed this about other stories going on, we suck at just criticizing ourselves in any way, shape, or form. And here's, here's what blew my mind. That was a two hour live stream and not once, not one single time did she mention the guy she was sleeping with. All right, like that just kind of blows my mind. All right, like I'm watching it, I'm like, okay, so like while you were traveling, like, or this part of the story, like was this while you were sleeping with that other guy and things like that. But here's the thing, here's why, you know, that should be a factor. Because like I said, it's not so black and white with a polyamorous relationship. So she talks about how some of the rules was, you know, you pull the plug right when you want to, and if you're uncomfortable or whatever it is. So I just want you, I just want to play this scenario out for you, right? Heidi and Jared say, okay, let's try polyamory, all right? Jared, he's not hooking up with anybody. He's not sleeping any with anybody. Heidi finds some dude and she's like, okay, this is who it is. And Jared is cool with it. Jared's like, okay, cool. Do your thing, sleep with this dude. I do not care. We are polyamorous. That is fine, right? And then the second Jared finds somebody who he wants to sleep with, in this case, you know, being Holly, Heidi's like, nope, pull the plug, right? Then I just sit there and think like, okay, like, did you just bring up polyamory as an excuse to go cheat? You see what I mean? Like, it's, it's not, it's not fair. Like, you know what I mean? Because somebody might get emotions and say, oh, well, it was fine when I did it, but it's not okay when you do it. So now we're going to end this whole thing. I'm going to pull the plug. So like, I, I think this whole thing was a mess. This entire thing was a mess, but I just really want to drive into your head. Like you guys, like, we don't have to hold on to relationships that aren't working. I know it's hard, I know it's difficult, but just know when time is over. But anyways, the last thing I wanna talk about is closure, all right? So a lot of you have seen like on Twitter, Heidi's been releasing a bunch of text messages and all these other things, and this stream did a lot less damage than anything she's been doing on Twitter. And I'm glad she did it. I'm glad she did it because I feel 
I feel like she got some closure out of this, being able to share her side of the story, how she felt, what she went through, her perspective. People may not agree with her perspective and things like that, that's cool. But just sharing that story was good for her. Now listen, listen, I do not suggest that other people do this kind of stuff publicly. The only reason why I'm glad Heidi did this was because she did everything else already. And I think, I think this was just the best way for her to finally get some closure on this situation and move forward. Like there was a few times in the stream where she actually paused and she was like, ah, oh, it feels good to share this, right? But like my suggestion to all of you, because some of you wanna air this out on Facebook in front of all of your friends, or you do it on social media or whatever, like this is what friends, this is what a therapist is for and everything like that. Like this is what a journal's for even. Like sometimes like our brain just tries to make sense of things. But the other thing is too, what I've seen in this situation with Heidi, you know, some of the things that even Holly's tweeted, Jared's been mostly silent, but we all, we're all looking for confirmation and validation, right? We all wanna share our story. We all want people on our side to show how, how, how we were wronged. And we want people to agree with how we were wronged, right? And this is something that I used to do all the time. I used to air out all of my dirty laundry, right? And I, I just wanted as many people on my team as possible for that validation. You know what I mean? But on that path of validation, we can cause a lot of wreckage. Like I mentioned, you know, uh, I've been canceled myself. And while there are some videos that I do regret making, there's a lot, there, there are many videos that I haven't made because I had friends in my life and who, who called me out and they said, Chris, if you make that video, you're just looking for validation. It's gonna do more harm than good. You just want people to see your side. You just want people to agree with you and everything like that. And the, the reality is a lot of people still won't agree with you. And I'm like, you're right. So a few times during that stream, Heidi talked about how she's not looking for people to believe her or be on her side or whatever it is. Whether or not, you know, that's true and what her motives are, I don't know. I'm not gonna question them, all right? But I will say this, if she's being honest about that and being honest with herself, that she has no expectations from releasing that stream, good. I think, I think that is the last. So as long as, you know, Jared and Holly, which I don't imagine they will do, uh, as long as they don't reply to this, I think this is going to kind of fizzle out, all right? And I hope everybody involved moves forward and has amazing, beautiful lives. All right. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. Don't forget down in the description, down in the pinned comment below, my brand new book canceled inside YouTube cancel culture is out now in both ebook and audiobook format. All right. But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell and a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody else who supports the channel in other ways, like buying merch, buying the books I write and all that kind of stuff. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.